kinetic energy. Newton's laws of motion allow us to analyze many kinds of motion. However, the analysis is quite complicated. There's another sometimes more powerful technique for analyze motion. This other technique involves energy, which comes in a great many forms or types and could be extended to other situations, such as chemical reactions, geological processes, and biological functions that do not involve motion. In fact, the term energy is so broad that a clear definition for it is difficult to write. Technically, energy is a scalar quantity that is associated with a state of one or more objects. The term state here has its common meaning. It is the condition of an object. However, this definition is too vague to be of half to us now. In this chapter, we focus on only one form of energy, kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy associated with a state of motion of an object. State means the condition of an object. For an object of mass m, and whose speed v is well below the speed of light, we define the kinetic energy k equal half mv squared. This energy is proportional to v squared, so it can never be negative, always positive. Kinetic energy can never be negative. The metric system unit of kinetic energy is a newton meter, a joule. One newton meter, one joule, equals one kilogram meter square over second square. Another unit of energy when dealing with atoms or with subatomic particles is electrovolt, we denote EV. One electrovolt equal to 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 joule. This is a very small unit, so we often use the kilo EV or mega EV. Sample. In 1896, in Vargo, Texas, William Crush of the Katy Railway parked two locomotives at opposite end of 6.0 kilometers long track. Fire them up, tie them throttles open, and then allow them to crash head on at full speed in front of 30,000 spectators. Hundreds of people were hurt by flying debris. Several were killed. Why? As energy. Assuming each locomotive's weight 1.2 times 10 to the 6 newton, and its acceleration along the track was a constant 0.26 meter per second per second. What was the total kinetic energy of the two locomotives just before the collision? Now, the kinetic energy is the sum of these two motor locomotives, so equal to mv squared. We found a v because this is a constant acceleration motion. We use this formula, v squared equal to v0 squared plus 28s. Well, this is what we want to find. v0 squared 0, starting from a rest. a is 0.26, and x minus x is its distance traveled is half the track long, 6.4 times 10 to the 3 over 2, that is 3.2 times 10 to the 6. So we calculate, you get the V. So we, once you V, we need a M. M is equal to W over G. So we know its weight, we know G, so we get M. We put this number inside. We get the number, it's very huge. 2.010 to the eighth joule. How big it is? It is equivalent to 100 pound TNT.
You know, TNT is an explosive material. 